Anxiety. A lot of people deal with anxiety in their life. It's a big challenge. In fact, we have an epidemic of people in the world, in the Western world, being medicated for it. And we think this is okay. It's insane, but we have agreed that this is normal now. I'd really love to see less focus on our chemical imbalances and more focus on the imbalances in our life. I believe that our lifestyle has a huge influence on the degree of anxiety we have. Now, I understand anxiety it comes in a lot of forms and a lot of causes that can make this feeling happen. Very, very difficult feeling. But I also believe that there are certain things you can practice in your life to help you handle it. And I want to share them with you today. These are some really, really good tools. Number one, watch your input. What kind of negative and positive input do you have in your life? Really look at this. This is really important. If you have a lot of negative input, and the three biggest culprits are news, social networking, and people around you. Those, if you've got someone around you who's really critical and negative all the time, if you're waking up and watching, doing social and, and watching the news first thing in the morning and then doing it right before you go to bed, I guarantee you your anxiety level will be a lot higher. It's a huge thing. You really need to see what you need to do as far as changing your habits around this. Now, on the other hand, positive input. What kind of positive input do you have in your life? Are you listening to anything inspirational, motivational, spiritual, personal growth, anything like this? Videos on YouTube, um, uh, some kind of movie, series, doc, anything, reading, some, you know, some podcast, people in your life, are they encouraging, are they supportive? All of these things will make a huge difference in how you feel as far as anxiety goes. Another thing, feel, feel. If you are fearful, if you're sad, if you're angry, get it out. We have a habit of wanting to stuff our feelings and then getting distracted, which hence the, all the addictions that people get. Feel what you need to feel and get it out. Get the energy out of, your, uh, out of your body. It will really be a relief and really help you a lot. Anxiety can be caused just by built up energy from your, from your emotions. Your body it just doesn't know what to do with it, right? And exercising and getting it out really helps too, okay? Some kind of activity. Um, watch your thinking patterns. Your thinking patterns, when you're, you know, you have, a, you know, we have like little hamster wheels sometimes. We start thinking and that makes us think something else, something else, something else. And if we're feeling anxious because of our thinking patterns, it's because we keep on freaking out over our imagination. We're scared, of, we're afraid of something that's going to happen in the future and it's not, it doesn't even exist. We just have our imagination. So basically, we're getting freaked out over what we're just imagining in our heads. It's absolutely insane, and we all do it, okay? Pay attention to those things. When they happen, you can go, oh, no, wait, that's not true. Think about it. Is that what I just thought true? Sometimes we identify with all our thoughts that think every thought that we have is true. And in fact, most of them are false. <laughs> if you really think about all the thoughts that come into your head about things when you're worried about things, a lot of, or, or resentful thinking about the past, a lot of them really aren't true if you really question and look at them, right? Now, two really great things to pull you back into present right away when you're freaking out are intentions and gratitude. Intentions, when I, when, if I'm starting to freak out and I'm getting nervous thoughts about something, I try to correct myself. I say, wait a second, what's my intention today? What's my intention when I'm going right now to see my friend or an event that I'm going to? What's my intention? It can be as simple as I'm going to have a nice time, really enjoy myself with my friends, see who I can meet and help at this event. You know, something super, super easy like that. And so when I start to think sometimes about, you know, getting afraid about something or anxious about something, I try to go, wait, 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 what's my intention? And as soon as I do that, I get on a bit positive note right away. And it brings you into the now. The most important thing I can tell you in this whole talk is living in the now more will decrease your anxiety for sure. Your anxiety is about the future. You know, if you live in the now more, you're going to feel a lot more calm and a lot less anxious. So using intention to bring you back to the present really helps a lot. Another thing that really helps a lot is gratitude. What am I grateful for? If I start complaining about something or I'm freaking out about something or I'm mad and I'm getting anxious about a resentment, what am I grateful for? 
There's so many things that all of us are so, so fortunate. We're living, we're healthy, we're safe. I mean, the basics, okay? Let alone family, friends, whatever you're grateful for in your life, okay? But, um, you know, gratitude, intention, bringing back to the now right away. Nature. This is huge. I noticed in the last part of the quarantine that I started to feel more anxious. And I was thinking, what did, what, what did I change? What's different? And I thought, oh, I bet it's because I'm not getting out in nature enough. And I didn't have any outdoor space. And I started making sure that I took my bike, as soon as I was able, I was taking, uh, taking my bike to the bark, park, excuse me, or to the beach and, and making sure I took off my shoes and grounded on the earth and getting good electrodes and good energy from the earth, super important for your health. We are made to live in nature. And a lot of our lifestyles is living in the city and disconnecting us from nature. And this will definitely affect how peaceful you feel, how tranquil you feel, uh, the pain that you might have in your body, and, and, and illness. It protects you against illness. It's very, very important. We all know this. When you go into nature, when you go hiking, when you, when you go by the beach, when you go by water, if you just get outside in the yard, no matter what it is, you know how that helps you. It calms you down and makes you feel more connected, more relaxed, guaranteed. And my favorite that all of these other things are easier when you do is meditation. Meditation can help you with anxiety more than I think anything. Just got to get in the habit of trying to do it on a regular basis. And I'm gonna have a talk all on that uh, just for meditation and several of these other <laughs> things I'm talking about too. But you know, having meditation just so minimal as five minutes a day five minutes a day, you will see the benefit so much that you will want to do more. If you can just try to listen to some guided meditation that will get you focused on something that you don't have to blank your mind, it's nothing to do with that. It's getting a focus on something so your mind can relax more. Because overthinking, and this is a, this is a real problem that a lot of people have, causes a lot of anxiety too. So meditation calms your overthinking more. It calms your brain a little bit more. Super, super important. I really hope some of these tools, you, you, you choose to use some of these tools. I know they're gonna help you. I really hope that you choose to try to put them into your life a little bit more to help you manage your anxiety because they help tremendously. I have a lot of other techniques and exercises that I use for myself and my clients, but these are some of my favorites. So if you want to subscribe to more of the videos I got going on coming up in the future, just hit the subscribe button or you can contact me on my website in the link below and I'd be happy to help you with anything you need. Take care. Thanks.